What is up, peeps? Klaus here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Shantae Risky's Revenge. Last time, we went on a faggy quest and got an adorable wobble bell. In return, we got our tasty meal. Look at that tasty meal. Does it look good? Does it look great? Seriously, it looks amazing. I would love to try that one of these days. Anyway, this episode, we're gonna take it to the jerk who wanted it. What is that heavenly smell? Hey, snap! Is that a tasty meal? I'm bringing it aside. Hey, okay, fine. We'll go inside and bring it to you. Yo. Squid Bird! Squid Bird! I missed you! Uh, I apologize for calling you a jerk earlier. Uh, you're, you're the delivery boy? The last time I got here, I'm going to order and I was- Oh, That's why you got frustrated. You were waiting hours for your tasty meal. Wow, uh... Sorry, Squid Baron. Damn it! <clears throat> My boy. Whatever. As long as you brought a tasty meal, hand it over. There you go. Holy crap, this guy was hungry. Man, that is a spot. What do I owe ya? I'm looking for a magic seal. Here, you have it. Yo! Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Look, I need to get worked up, right? That's both be reasonable. Can we be reasonable? Uh, I guess. Okay then. Get it! Wow. That guy is so dead. Ha! <laughs> you love the plate. The plate! Let me eat some of that meal. I want some of that meal. Mmm, yummy. Ha <laughs> Okay, enough of that. We gotta chase down this good parent who has a magic seal, so let's just go right in. Okay, now, right off the bat, there's that right there, there's a treasure desk that's gonna mock us for a while, it's gonna take out this crab. That's really what it is. It's a standard crab. Yay! We just imagine Dark Moon would be proud. Yeah, just in our crabs, we're just in crabs. I'm creative as ever. Yeah, we can't get to that treasure chest right now. I believe there's another one in this room that we can't get to right now, so it's gonna ignore that as well. But yeah, this this is this Grid Baron's lovely boat. Got plenty of uh, floral life around here. This is kind of odd, especially these huge flowers here that is strong enough to support the Radio Shante. Like seriously, like, how on earth did you get so many of these flowers that are just strong enough to hold Shante's weight? Like how did you get a I don't know, but man, these plants are stronger than they look. What I do here here is you gotta. There are some of these blocks that are just are destructible. You just gotta rip them to get rid of them. Obviously, I don't think there's really anything here. No, there isn't. That's just a uh, red herring. I don't even know why that's there. Oh well, it's just fun to break. Same with these pots. Same as before. Same uh, philosophy. Destroy pottery. <laughs> okay, gonna want to keep this area in mind for later. Hit hint. No judge. Uh, turns. Just fire your fired so I can sneak past you. Ow, and I get it, but get hit by it anyway. See, that's exactly what I mean. Like, normally, that would take taking one fourth our hearts, but that deals half a heart damage. Okay, but yeah, you've seen this already. You've seen this already for like two episodes already. I don't even, even need, need to explain that real quick. Just use that just to blast him. Just gonna keep attacking. One reason, one of the reasons why I like using the fire so much is that uh, we can deal damage over time to enemies as well. Just I don't see one enemy here. Well, I guess there are a couple of enemies. Uh... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, please. No, that still doesn't bother me, but yeah. I guess there are a couple enemies that, do that aren't susceptible, susceptible to the um, whole fire thing. But yeah, if you can just 
sneak our way across here, get across that gap before falling down. Get that key that we need. We get a few pots that have a pretty decent amount of gems for us, so that is a decent profit, I guess, if you want to go after a ton of we're gonna go for more gems. I guess that that could be really good. That Whoa! Uh I need to pay more attention because there are more gems up there as well. Oh well, uh, I guess when we go, I guess, I guess uh, when we come back here for that, um, we can go after those. You can go back for those gems. But yeah, this is one of the, this is one of those enemies. Yes, these are knights. Their armor outright protects them from being burned. They slam to the ground. They emit well, like your graves. You can indeed hurt them, as you've seen, while they have their shield up. Uh, the purpose of this is to prevent you from attacking them directly, but they don't protect their face for whatever stupid reason. Yeah, real smart, guys. Well, I'm actually glad they're actually just stupid. You know, they don't even bother protecting their face. <laughs> oh, I laugh at enemies like that, they're just so stupid that they just let you kill them. Or maybe they think they can you can't hit their face? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, the thing with these platforms is, you hit them, they flip over, make them, that makes them safe for them to jump on. They continue to be that way, thankfully, when you stand on them. Yeah, they're not jerking shit up, like, okay, you have to be so quick that you have to jump off them in order to make it to the next one. Yeah, otherwise, they just toss you off, or they just, whenever they flip over immediately, they just hit you. So, they're, they're really nice in that way. Holy fuck, that just really went in me. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't really need to take it easy here. It, ooh, we need a... We need, ooh, yeah, we're gonna need a key. Maybe we're gonna need to remember this area. Okay, okay. Okay, that was odd. We have something here that completely shadows us. Oh, that, that's actually that's actually realistic. That, that's, that's a really nice detail. Look, we're completely shadowed out because we're in a kind of dark area in the, um, in the labyrinth, because, well, we're under, I guess, a uh, room of sorts, we're in it. Ow. Point being, I like that overshadowed effect. Adds a bit of realism to this game. I love it a lot! But I don't know if I can keep, I don't know if I can quit gushing about this game. Just how it is visually, just so many small details, just awesome. I don't quite agree with the skulls popping out. Just saying, I think we can recognize a dangerous pit when we see one. It is a minor complaint. I'm not to make a point of that. Okay, a couple of knights here. That we can just take down. Just I think I'll just give me give me just miss entirely. Okay, fine. I killed him! I wasn't even trying to do that, holy crap! Okay, we have, we're gonna have a couple rooms like this. Okay, we're gonna have a couple rooms like this. Where we have some blocks that are destructible, some that are not. This is meant to make a specific pattern. Which is kinda cool. This is why I suggested having the, um... Storm puff this early on. Like, it, it is a good, it is a good item to have. All right, I'm gonna say enemy power. Right, wanna set one right here. Or not? Okay, fine. Set one here. And these scarecrows appear. Yes, having the um fireball also helps. Because, yeah, they throw pumpkin bombs. These guys, in their particular area, and in, in, the, ah, in their particular placements, can be a little tough to deal with if you're not prepared. So, having, uh, having with them on fire can especially be good in this area, especially if we're playing a magic mode where you take double the damage. I mean, if you knock them out, however, you can... Nice, you got a key! You learned a lesson from Fire's Curse and not telling us what to do! Because you know that we know! Yay! 
<laughs> awesome! You got a couple orcs around you with a meal. Yeah. You. Oh my god, you're so threatening. Yeah. You have so much reason to fear the mighty orc. Haha. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, though, the written. I haven't gone over the. What they do this? Actually, I kind of did for its curse, so that's. They're not needed, so. For those who haven't seen, orcs, they fly overhead and they pop down. That's what they do from their attack. But, yeah. We got the key that we need. So, we just gotta climb all the way back up here. And we need to take this key. Okay, get up there. Okay, so yeah, if you select that, that block helps it. <laughs> Great failure there. Now we can access this door. And, wow. Okay. This area, knights are a lot easier to deal with. This, I can push them back. Now, jump up here. Because like I said, they're not protected in the face, so you can just hop up here and nothing looks nice, no problem. Don't really think there's anything here. You know, it kind of looks like there should be... You know, kind of looks like there should be something there if you had a certain ability, but... There actually isn't. Okay, dock here. This guy, th this enemy won't be able to do a damn thing to you. Like, even though this thing is spinning on you, like, as long as you duck, it won't be able to do a thing to you. Just one of the uh, e easiest, um, one of those you know, an, an easy enemy is an awesome enemy, I think. Anyway, this right here is primarily just. Sir, like, its primary purpose is just to stir. Ah! Its primary purpose is just if you fail, you have a way to get back up here. But personally, I just want to do it for the gems. Like you do get a nice amount of gems if you go that way, which is really, really nice. Okay, this area isn't really all that tough to deal with. You have a couple of these platforms that well, flip. Yeah, you have multiple platforms. You have one that auto flips and it. And it comes and it, and it hits that. It's really not all that hard. So yeah. Now something strange. I have to admit that's right here. Notice how this wall is different than that wall right there. That is actually really important because welcome. The fountain. Oh, that's so cute! What the hell? Here, it looks like a tiny baby squid is being a water. It's so adorable. I'm sorry. Just I can go over how cute that looks. Wait, let's activate the fountain. Who purchased my magic fountain? Oh my God! The little star is naked. I sense a restless energy deep inside you. Channel your passions and allow the magic to take shape from my butt to yours. <laughs> At least you can't see anything. Otherwise, I would not be allowed to put this on YouTube and this game would be rated M for mature. <laughs> Simply hold the dance button and release it during your first Billy Dance move to transform. The dance will allow you to climb walls and leap to new heights. Yes. We can climb walls. Now, remember what I said about that? It's kind of funny. You can climb just walls like that. But. Walls that get up. look like it makes sense to be able to climb, you can't climb. Yeah, these fucking of walls are monkey proof for some reason. I don't know, okay, look at this. It looks like it has like a bunch of jaded rocks, like something you can easily grab onto and like, I don't know, climb up. These saw these um solid plain walls. I don't look like you can be able to that you should be able to latch onto at all. 
You can for some reason. I just... It, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's mini games. Why question it? <laughs> but yeah. You now have the ability to transform into a monkey! Now, keep in mind that you won't be able to fight as a monkey. I can't kind of make... Sort of kind of makes sense, I guess. Even though you think... You would think that monkeys would be a kind of ferocious. Especially when back into, back into the corner. Man. No oh, well. Got the monkey dance. As it's climb. Also, as a monkey, you can jump even higher than you could before. Which is really, really, really nice. We basically we, uh, we basically become Luigi and I can't jump for crap. Man. Oh well. Hey. Whoa! I Crabs! Come on! Seriously! Give me more trouble than you should. Okay. Now, well, there are a couple of areas here of special interest. First of all, if you climb up here, be careful not to jump too high. Because you get a ton of gems! There's another area that's out this way. Now, I do recommend you get as many gems as possible. Well, for obvious reasons to get stuff from the shop, of course. But, that's not all you, 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 you want to grab. So if you want to go this way, there's about a ton more pot, ton, ton more pottery that you can smash to get even more gems. This area in, in general is just so profitable, it's awesome. Despite my views on the Academy here. Whatever. First first up being, you get a magic gem! This is awesome. This is basically an alternate form of currency. You need this magic gem in order to get various different items and such. Now there is another area that we were gonna that we need to go to once we have a certain ability, which is we have that in our possession right now. I can't believe I fell that platform in this area. Wow, <laughs> that that is amazing that I just managed to fail. Uh. Okay, go back around here. Become the monkey once again. Whoa. Get this. Get through here. Clamma, clamma, clamma. Get our second magic yam. We're just yamming. We're really yamming over here. We're magic yamming. Whoa. I wonder how. I kind of wonder just how that stuff would taste. I mean. Get that particular jam. That, that'd be amazing. That, that'd be the best thing ever. I, I'd buy that stuff immediately. <laughs> but yeah. That is. Well. Our second and only. Ma only two magic jam we're gonna be able to get in this area. There is a third. We're not gonna be able to get that for quite some time. So we're gonna be forced to skip over that. Wait, now that we got the mermaid form. A mer monkey! Damn it! Uh I just called a monkey a mermaid. That is awful. <laughs> okay, now we got the monkey form, you can skip over that platforming. Also really, really, really nice. We're pretty close to the bosses there, actually. It's pretty amazing just how fast these dungeons go by. Excuse me, can I get back up there, please? Oh wait, I'm getting ahead of myself, crap! Getting way ahead of myself. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, we need to go through here.
Okay. Yeah. There's this area right here. I pretty sure this is the right now. Uh this can be a little bit tricky to form. But I guess not too tricky because we have the monkey farm that we'll be able to easily sift through these um yeah, um, cracks that we found well be able to get normal size. I came out really awkward. Okay, if I can time this right. I timed that horribly. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Get this key. I don't know how I managed to um, skip ahead of myself that much. Holy jeez. Uh, well, this has been my most embarrassing episode yet. Oh, whatever. Just clammy, clammy, clammy. We can climb the wall. Skip past the, un the annoying chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. I did that on purpose, by the way, just to unlock the stupid freaking fuck life. I'm a freak torture. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hate Black Lives Matter movements. Hashtag All Lives Matter. Anyway, all that said and done. You're here at the Den of Evil. Let's take on this good baron and get the magic seal. So you managed to solve my labyrinth. That won't do any good. My magic seal is staying right here. And me and my babies are ready to tussle. This is it! The Squid Baron! This guy! That was kind of protective. <laughs> he has a few different attacks. He can, he can ram from side to side like he did in Heart's Curse. He did that again! What the heck? Yes, he can walk from. Yeah, he can walk in random areas. Oh, but it's any tasty meal. You want to cling to this wall because yeah, you can do that over and over again. It's really hard to hard to dodge other eyes. He'll spawn his babies, but he can actually take on himself. It's kind of grim. Like so. How can you do that to your own? Babies! Alright. You do want to take out these guys. Oh, snap. Uh, he's gonna do it. This is horrible. That is a pretty good tactic to get. And out of the way. Yeah, when he warps, he'll, sp he'll spawn four shadows. He can appear in one of, one, one of four of those at random. So I wanna put place one of those there. This is a really good power to use against the Squid Baron. And there we go! He's done! I nearly died in this fight. That face! That face, yo! Oh I never get tired of that. One thing that makes me really happy is I get to see the square burn again. Let's take the magic seal right from them. I hope you don't mind me being quiet there, but I just wanted to let you take in this music. It is really, really beautiful. 
I love it so much. And here comes Risky. Risky Boots. Well, well, well. I see you managed to beat me to the first magic seal. Nicely done. Be a good girl and hand it over. Not a chance. Back off. Or I'll smash this thing to pieces. Hi. No need to be hasty. I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of each other down the road. Down the line. Ta-ta! Yeah, see you in yeah, see you in your tatas. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing bad taste humor. Get used to it. Anyway, there are actually a couple of ma a couple of magic jams that we can get now that we have the um, monkey dance, and I'd like to get to get to those real quick before he makes off. First of which is out this way. Where you have just this um, thing you need to climb over. And yeah, and this is a nice magic jam. We're jamming. Okay, I, I use that joke already. I need to come up with some new stuff. Also, we can't use those jump panels as a monkey. Lame! Why would you let me monkey around? Get it? Monkey around. <laughs> okay, that was bad even for me. Anyway, this, uh, this is yet another area we're gonna keep in mind for later. We can't do anything about this rock yet. Keyword, yet. But, what we're gonna do is climb around, and voila! Another magic jam in our possession. Very nice. Why did I hit no just then? <laughs> anyway, yeah, we do want to work back to a lot of fields. Well, let me go and switch my monkey. You know, can't fight as a monkey, but we do want to jump up and get this card holder. Yes. This is basically your, um, uh, car container, as obvious as that is. Yay, redundancy! Yes, this will enable us to take more hits. This is really, really, really handy to have. Alright. So I guess we'll talk to this guy now. Get your friends and follow. We're looking for you in the pumpkin fields. Which is actually where we're going to be heading to in the next episode. Next time on Shantae Risky's Revenge. We'll be heading out to Pumpkin Field to see what Polo has to say. Since, well, he's been looking for us. See you guys then! Also, don't criticize um, old men when their job is to save your game. I hear they don't like that. <laughs>